Hey everybody, Jason back with another movie review. And I figured it's December time frame. It is the holidays and I want to review a couple of holiday style movies. Um, and I want to start out the first one being one of my favorites growing up and continue on to this day. And I do have the DVD of it. It is a Christmas story. And I'm sure all of you, everybody's seen it. And in fact, it's a tradition now on TBS, on TV, to do a 24-hour marathon of this. And that's how I watch it most of the time nowadays. I don't really watch this DVD per se. But it seems like every Christmas I will have it on. And most of the time nowadays, it seems like I'm not watching the whole thing all the way through. And then I'll... I'll uh, Watch a little bit here, watch a little bit of there, you know, you flip in the channels, turn it back. It seems like I end up watching it, watching the whole movie once a year, um, just not at the same time. So you kind of just, you're watching it throughout, you know, the 24 hours. Um, but this is one of the ones that I will never forget. Um, and, well, first of all, we'll go over the uh, some of the cast, just the, the main uh, people. The, the mother of this is a... Melinda Dillon, the father is Darren McGavin, and the kid right here, and also, I wore this shirt just for this, and I'm sure you guys know what, what this is all about when it says, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Um, so, and that's, the kid's played by Peter Billingsley, um, very funny kid, um, and it does, and I was just looking at this before I started recording. It's based on the novel In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash by a Gene Shepherd. I've never read it, and I would love to actually get a copy of that and, uh, and read it. Uh, go ahead and comment below if you've ever read it and if it's worth trying to get. Um, and this is just the basic DVD, the very cheap one. Um, I'm sure, I think they have the Blu-ray out there, and I'm not, I can't tell you if it's worth getting or not. I haven't got it. And this is one of those, just those flip ones, you know, the very cheap one. Um, that's all it is. Nothing very fancy on it. Um, the special features are nothing except for the theatrical trailers, so. Um, so basically, what's happening, first, before I even start off, this movie was made in 1983, and it's not really aged like a normal 1983 movie and what I mean by that is the movie is set in the 1940s in Indiana and honestly when I watched this when I was younger I almost thought that this movie was filmed in 1940 it just appears like that I mean they do a great job setting the mood it's snowy out it's cold it just gets that feeling of 1940 so they do an outstanding job so I give them props for that. It doesn't even look like it was 1983. So they did outstanding with that. Because um, a lot of times you watch a movie nowadays where it's 1983 when it was filmed. And it's very aged by this point. So, But this one, I can watch this every year and still love it. Um, and it's, this is hilarious. Um, what's happening is the kid's name is Ralphie. Um, he's nine years old. Um, the typical nine-year-old daydreaming throughout the whole movie, he daydreams. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, and then also, throughout the whole movie, you're listening to a narrator, which is supposed to be um, the kid, Ralphie, as well, when he's an adult. Um, and I like that. I like the tone it sets. And a lot of times, it's the narrator talking, and then you see Ralphie as a boy, and he's daydreaming, or he is just staring off into space, and you could just, you could tell he's thinking about stuff going on. He's got a younger brother named Randy. Um, you could tell the age difference there. Uh, I'm not sure how old he was. Um, you got a couple of friends, and uh, I'm not really going to go over what you know each scene is, but I will cover a couple of memorable moments for me. Um, of course, everybody has to love his friend who gets double dog there to put his tongue on that pole and it gets stuck. It is, it's hilarious and 
it's sad at the same time. You feel bad for the kid. He did a great job. I don't know how they did it, but it looked realistic. Um, everybody has to go back into class. Um, Ralphie himself, he wants to stay, but he doesn't want to be late to class. So he kind of has to has that little pickle right there. He goes back. They're all staring out at him throughout the, through the window in class, and that's when the, the teacher has to call the uh, fire department to get him out. Um, so that's one of the things that I always remember. And the big thing that all the kids are getting um, back then is a, is a Red Ryder uh, BB gun. Um, everybody is wanting this. And... Obviously, he goes. He tries to tell his parents, you know, not. He doesn't come right and tell them that I want this BB gun. He tries to tell them um, or show them different little hints. Like, for example, I think he cuts out a magazine article or, or an advertisement of it and slips it into his mom's magazine. So hopefully, that you know, when she opens up, she sees it. Um, And then you keep on hearing um, his mom say that the uh, the line, you know, you'll shoot your eye out, you know, and she's afraid there's no way he's going to get the BB gun because she's afraid he's going to shoot her, his eye out. And you keep on hearing that. Um, you keep on hearing that throughout the movie. In fact, there's that scene, I'm sure everybody remembers, freaked me out a little bit when I was a, uh, a kid, but it's the scene where him and his brother go to the mall or, or go to something, I think maybe a Dillard's or something, I can't recall it honestly, but they are staying in line to meet Santa Claus, and they go up on top, and all the kids are screaming and crying, and you know, there's a slide that they go down, um, he goes up there, and he almost forgets, I forgot what he said, he kind of forgot what he was going to say, he said he want, I think that you want a football or something, and he kind of shakes his head, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He gets pushed out by the elf, and then he holds on. That's when he uh, yells, you know, hey, I want the uh, such-and-such BB gun. And then he, Santa Claus goes up to him and says, you know, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. And he gets pushed down and slides down. It's a hilarious, um, it's a hilarious scene. Um, let's see. And again, throughout the, the movie, I do like the, the, the little scenes that he... Uh, daydreams um, I won't go into detail again about that um, at the end of it you he starts finding out that all these gifts he's getting it's not what he wants um, he gets an outfit that's a pink bunny from his aunt I believe and then he gets some socks or some some other stuff at the very end of it his dad pulls out the BB gun he gets it um, he ends up I forget what happens he I won't even... He, he he ends up hurting himself a little bit. And his mom doesn't say anything. He has to, he has to uh, grow up. I mean, so he kind of lets that go. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to keep it short on this one. Um, highly recommend this. Um, during the holidays, give this a uh, watch. If you don't have it on, on DVD, um, no big deal. Just I would recommend watching it once with um, the family... Um, highly recommended to watch it with your kids on, on Christmas when they do show it on TBS 24 hours a day. They do end up showing it over and over and over. Um, and I'm not going to cover it, but there is a Christmas story part two that I won't even cover because I don't think it was necessary for them to make. I do like uh, Daniel Stern is in the movie, but I do not recommend watching it. I mean, this one's a classic. That one's not. And it kind of follows the same family about 10 years after this story's um, made. So again, highly recommended. I'll, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Um, highly recommend doing it. Again, it's not really... Um, it's not dated, like I said earlier. So it's... Um, kids nowadays can relate to it, even to this day, I think. Because um, this Ralphie kid is pretty much like all of us when we were a kid. Um, and we as kids kind of went through the same thing not, maybe not to this extreme but um, but so even what to this day when I watch this I feel like a little kid you know get the memories of when I was a kid growing up and you know getting 
you know, sometimes getting what I want and sometimes not, you know. So, go ahead and give this a watch. And that's it for this one. I will do some more um, holiday reviews. Um, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. And uh, hope everybody is enjoying their holidays. And, and hopefully you guys have a little bit of time off from work. I know we all need it. I know I'll be getting some, you know, a few days off for work during that time. So, um, please, if you can, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube page. I would very much appreciate the uh, support. Um, also, go to Facebook. Go to www.facebook.com slash DVD Review Dude. And uh, please like that page. It's a quick, you know, little button like. And I will update this um, YouTube channel on that one as well. So, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot. And again, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend watching this Christmas classic, A Christmas Story. All right, everybody. Take care. And we will talk to you later.